Hey everyone, welcome back. Assetto Corsa was released in 2014 and over the last six years since release it's had a number of patches and upgrades and obviously lots more content added. But one of the things that you can improve is the graphics. So what this video will do will show you how to bring those graphics up to the standard of today's games and get the maximum use out of that shiny new video card in your rig. The graphical mods that are now running on this gameplay really do enhance the lighting effects, the weather effects, the reflections and the fidelity of the graphics. And when set up correctly, these become customizable in the easy to use interface. Just a word of warning to start with, when we're installing these mods, what we will see is that there is some impact on performance. So depending on the rig you have, the video card you have, the memory you have, the VRAM you have, you may have to layer some of these mods. So we're going to start with Content Manager and I'll talk through that in a moment. But Content Manager will allow you to install these mods and take them off one at a time and then multi-layer these mods. So you can then see the video card impact it's going to have and how it's going to affect your frames per second and then adjust appropriately. All of the links to the mods that I'm going to talk about are actually in my description. So if you check out the description below, that will give you the direct links that you can check out these mods and then install them from there. To start with then, Content Manager should be the first thing you install. Content Manager comes in a light version and then a paid for version. I would recommend the paid for version. I think it's $3 at the moment plus tax um, and it really will make your experience on a set of course uh, so much better. It's a standalone program that sits on your desktop and when you run it, it allows you not only to install mods simply and quickly by dragging and dropping the raw files that you will download, and it manages all those files straight away in your Assetto Corsa folders. What it also does, it allows you to start the game very, very easily. This includes choosing your cars, choosing the maps, and all of your opponents. It allows you access to all of the mod settings as well, and also allows you to check out all the settings that are in the back end of Assetto Corsa. And this includes all of your graphics and sound settings, weather settings. It really is the key part to installing mods on a set of Corsa. So next is the big one, custom shader patch. This is what it's all about. If you're around the set of Corsa scene, you will have probably heard about this or maybe even have a version of it installed. But custom shader patch really is the big breakthrough that a set of Corsa needed to bring the graphics absolutely up to date. It brings a number of dynamic lighting effects dynamic weather engine, local reflections, bounce lighting, more anti-aliasing, new smoke, sparks, the list goes on. So this is the big one really. So once this is installed you do have the option through Content Manager to choose the version custom shader patch that you want to be on. There is a recommended version and then there are more experimental versions above that. So do check those out. After custom shader patch the next big install is Sol. So currently Sol is on 1.6.2, again the link is in my description. And Sol actually brings a number of great additions to a set of Corsa that really bring the game alive. As you can see on some of my video gameplay, there is night cycle, so this brings a full 24 hour day and night cycle. It also improves vastly the clouds, as well as 32 predefined weather settings, which is great for doing screenshots and great for changing the race actually when you pause on the debug screen when you're on the main screen playing the game. It also brings full night shaders, complete solar system, so moon planets, complete star maps and they change as you go through the day and night cycle. So this really does bring to life a set of Corsa and it's one of the best mods I think that is out there at the moment. Next on the list is wet mod because if you're going to have all of the, these great weather effects in Sol and in the custom shader patch then you want to make sure that the track looks as good as possible. And what wet mod 2.0 does is that it gives you wet variation of 11 of Kunos's fully multiplayer usable tracks, uh, a number of pit tracks, seven custom standard weathers. It changes all of the way that the tarmac looks and on some of the gameplay that you can see in this video you'll see how the reflections and the bouncing of light on the tarmac is absolutely stunning. This allows you to have daytime races where the track is still wet and you've got the added physics with that. There's just been a shower and that's a lot of fun on races but you can have bright sunshine as you do sometimes in spring showers or you could go on full on hurricane with lightning at night, the rain coming down, it looks absolutely incredible. 
So just to finish, the last two mods that I would recommend are New Horizon Shades and Dynamic Lights. Both of these add some great little graphical updates and really again do bring to life what's happening on the game. So thank you for watching guys, it's been great showing you this gameplay, I hope you enjoyed. If you do please like, please subscribe and do check out my channel for more driving gameplay. See you soon.